Governor Evers is allowing more businesses to open in what he's calling another turn of the dial. Amanda Kadana has details on this recent emergency order. Amanda? This order is effective immediately, it allows standalone or strip mall retail stores to open. Basically, if it has a door to the outside and it's not going into a mall. But here's the catch. They can only allow five shoppers at a time and everyone has to maintain social distancing. Aside from this, businesses still have to follow guidelines of the safer at home order. Governor Evers says the sacrifices Wisconsinites have been making by staying safer at home are paying off. And this is another step towards getting back to business. In addition to added flexibilities and steps we have already taken for businesses, this is another discipline turn of the dial that will allow Wisconsin business owners to safely get back to work and Wisconsin consumers to support their favorite local spots. The order also allows drive-in movie theaters to open with some restrictions. Evers says this adds to other orders allowing golf courses, single employee lawn and construction services, and mailing curbside pickup and drop-off for every business. But Speaker Robin Voss says we've flattened the curve and this is not enough. Releasing a statement saying it's another day and another confusing emergency order. This shutdown has put half a million people out of work. It's time to get everyone back to work in every part of the state. DHS says Safer at Home is working, but we are seeing additional COVID-19 cases every day, so we need to continue the work we're doing to social distance. Our Madeline O'Neill is live on Monroe Street with an update on how local businesses are reacting to this order. Maddie? <laughs> Well, I've spoken to several locally owned businesses, many who were caught off guard by this news. So while this order is effective immediately, it may take some time as businesses lay out their plans for reopening. Now, this order applies to retail stores like Hive here on Monroe Street. Hive's owner says she's already been planning how to safely reopen things like rearranging the store to allow for more space and ordering sanitation stations and shields. But she says she wants to get more precautions in place before opening the doors to customers, considering options such as being open by appointment only, something other businesses tell me they're planning as well. Now, according to Governor Evers, this order only applies to shops that sell completed products, not services such as haircutting. Coming up at 10, we'll hear from more businesses here on Monroe Street on what this news means and what shopping here might look like in the near future. Maddie, thank you.